We uh, do have Levon Aronian. It's been 12 rounds, but finally you got the victory in the tournament. Congratulations, Levon. How do you much. feel right now? I'm re relieved because I think, uh, you know, not winning for so long can <laughs> damage your <laughs> mental system. <laughs> uh, so I don't think it was a game of a highest quality, but at this moment, I will take any kind of win. <laughs> Absolutely, and especially going into the final day against Fabiano Caruana, one of your good friends, but yes. such a critical uh, game for the standings. Now, let's talk about your game against Elshan. Take us through the critical moment. Yeah, I th I've played this line with Black myself against Lanier uh, in the American Cup. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's a difficult line to play for Black, uh, very strategical. And I think Lanier played C3 also against me, which and is... And that's the game you had to win. You were in yes. a must-win situation. It's a very tricky move, I have to say. Because this one C3? Yeah, because he's basically white is waiting and uh, you can't really play for C5 because then DC, this, uh, yeah, it's a bit too early. Yeah, this knight D4 stuff is very, very dangerous for mm -hmm. black. Mm -hmm. um, so you need to make a useful move, and you actually don't have. A yeah, really I think I move. also played Queen C7. I don't remember. Yeah. We don't see it right here. Oh, maybe I played A6, something like this. Yeah. And yeah, I thought that G5 is a bit premature. Now this Knight F1 looks very, very bad for Black. And what is the plan behind uh, this maneuver? Uh, what I want to do is play Knight G3, and you know, whenever I get the chance, just plant something on H5. So get the knight out and then get something H3, on H3, knight H2, and, or bishop D3, and then try to put something Exchange in H5. Exchange yeah. the lights for the bishops and get the knight to H5. Yeah. And I felt that this is, I mean, this is logical that he tries to, but uh, it should be a bad position. Just a bad end game in the position. Yeah. I, I think I just made and some mistakes around here. Yeah, G3, see, G6. my my understanding of this maybe is not good. So I, I felt this is a very good position for white, but the computer, as I see, yeah, says, but the <laughs> says it's unclear. From a practical perspective, it does feel like you have more space, more weaknesses to work with. Yeah. Oh. So bishop, yeah, I thought that bishop e7, there has to be a move. Maybe I should have tried for rook e3. I saw this in knight b8, mm -hmm. uh, and I felt uh, rook b3 and rook c7. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I was thinking mainly about bishop d3 here, but then I wasn't sure I can break through if he just castles. Castle, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. It indeed ple pleasant, because in this structure, when you take on g6, you can remove the knight, let's say, knight e2, and play g4. It's very, very, very pleasant. Then you'll start to play with h4. Uh, this g4 move is very typical for the structure. On the it, king side, and try to get to h6. And it really... Uh, cuts uh, the black knights out of the play, mm -hmm. yeah. But... Uh, but you didn't see the exact breakthrough. So. No, I thought it might end in a draw, you know. So I, I saw this rook uh, b3, knight b6, uh, but you know, from distance I blundered that if I take on c6, so bishop c6, rook c6, mm -hmm. a rook c6, bc, bishop b4. Okay, this is a beautiful chippo. Uh -huh. This is for... Uh, Yes, yeah, sir, of course. <laughs> bishop c2, bishop b7. <laughs> bishop b3, bishop f6. But, uh, yeah, then I take on b3. Yeah, but the problem with uh, this line that uh, after bishop b4, move number 22, he takes, takes, uh, king d7, knight d2. This all looks good, but this bishop c2 is probably giving him enough time to play. No more knight b3. Well, if you go knight yeah, b3, and it's change Yeah, and knight that. f1, then rook b8. It's very precise. And knight e3, a5, yeah? And he's in time. Yeah. And you cannot take on b6 no. because b2 is hanging at the end. Yeah. And you're actually just losing this one. Very nice. So and you I decide thought, to go for okay, a4. Yeah. I, I knew that this is probably nothing, but... Well, definitely some pressure, it seems like. Yeah, I do. This confirmed rook by, by the Rook b7, rook e8. Yeah, I saw that uh, after knight b2, I was planning to play, uh, I was thinking to play rook a1, but mm -hmm. I thought this is probably equal. Kind of rook a8, and then he chases my rook. With yeah. very precise play, yeah. Yeah. 
rook a8, rook b7, maybe knight c4, things of this nature. So maybe mm -hmm. I shouldn't have taken on a7, yeah? It seems like bishop to c3 was the best move. I saw this move, but I felt that, you know, if he goes rook b8... Take on a7, I would assume. Ah, so knight b2 takes, 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 takes c6, take on c6, yeah? Takes on c6, yeah. Yeah, I didn't believe in this somehow. I thought black is too active. But maybe, yeah, probably a wrong assessment from, from me. Mm. Yeah. And the knights don't seem to have a clear path to get back into the game, so... Yeah, I was a bit worried that this is just going to end in a draw as well. From afar, this is not easy to assess, for sure. All right, and he took on a7, and... and I, yeah, I got lucky here. And I managed to play 92, and yeah, this and is after already... This, you yeah. maintain your pawn, he doesn't get to it, and a nice conversion ensued. Levon, congratulations, an important victory you. for you tomorrow with the black pieces against a player you know so well, Fabiano Caruana. How are you going to approach that one? Uh, I think the goal is, uh, you know, just to stay solid and see what, uh, you know, uh, game dictates. Mm -hmm. It's not really, I'm, I'm not having a great tournament, but, uh, you know, last round has its own rules. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, always a pleasure to play spoilers. Also, if you're having a bad <laughs> event, you might as well try to mess up the other uh, players' event. Congratulations, <laughs> Levon. Good Guys, point. any questions? Yeah. No, our congratulations, Levon, and we'll be looking forward to your game tomorrow.